Okay, here goes the blade had no health left and he did get hit yet. I'm totally fine. Why? Hello, Internet! Today, we have our favorite gremlin. Look at how small she is. And yeah, we have Fushu and she just dropped. I got some stats on her. It's like, not a lot of speed, which I don't think is that good. But I'm just wondering, what happens if I give her a near 10k health, right? I also got some defense, 1.5k almost. It's not the best. But yeah, I do think I need more speed. But for today's build, I'm just trying to see generally how tanky she can be. And gosh dang, you just spawned that out of nowhere. I do have like 23 crit rate and 74 crit damage. Actually, kind of high. In terms of crit damage, but not in terms of crit rate, though. Base wise, everything should be pretty good already. I got, you know, easier as usual. In terms of relic sets, I'm using the two piece passerby, two piece long of his with broken keel, just to get all that tankiness up and all that healing up from the trace as well. I'm using a little light cone, and yeah, that gives me the ERR, which I think is important. And just to mention, right, I'm on ER rope as well. So I should have quite a high amount of energy regen. And let's see how she performs against the toughest MOC. Not gonna lie to you, I'm not even sure if I should test it here or if I should test it in freaking Swarm did. But here we have MOC Nice first team. We're using the two um, quantum element with the two other element, uh, element duo, right? That should work perfectly. And let's just have fun with this, dude. Ooh, this apparently nobody can hit me. And all I can switch out and still hear, yo, that's pretty neat. Five I have Fushu's E and now I use Cyril's E right here. I should go in with the Matrix online. So let's take a look here. I'm not gonna auto and look at the ground. Gosh dang, it looks like a satanic ritual right now. But here with a really slow Fushu, but hey, you would think that's the slowest? No, my blade's slower. My bro is even slower. Gosh dang, my team is slow. But for now, I just want to see, you know, generally how it works. This will be the first hit that he hits me with. I took- Did I take damage, bro? Yeah. Well, I would say Blade take, like, no damage. Brian took no damage. So we'll took a little bit, but we can definitely see Fushren here taking a bit more damage, right? And she should have the Matrix of Prescience for two more turns. That means she only has to use a skill one right here, which does break him, right? That's what we're trying to do. Let's go with Blade here. We're gonna charge things up, break him really quickly. It's gonna Blade yet another turn here. And uh, yeah, we should have the break effect from Super Wolf soon, ready to go. This will hit me. And, ah, uh, crap, I already broke him. But, yeah, I'm not taking damage, as you can see here. I'm not even taking enough damage for Fushren to activate her thing. But, anyways, I'm gonna just use a basic into the ult here. Let's go for a Giga Nuke from Blade. I'm gonna grab Bronya's ulti right here. And we're, yeah, screw it. We're probably just gonna dunk Blade. This should do quite a bit of damage. I mean, it's Blade after all. But, <laughs> the point here is, I'm not dying. I have a Blade, which, while well, he's already not dead. And paired that with Fushren's protection, I'm actually just chilling. Why, wow, you're gonna hit me here. Look at the damage I'm taking, dude. I can barely see it. And if you remember, Fushin should activate her passive heal the moment she drops below 50, which is just not happening at all right now. We're already killing them. Look at that. In like what? Two cycles? Yo. And we got a heal. Look at that from her own light code as well. That is, you know, coming in handy. This will be another AoE that does barely anything. Gosh. Dang, I'm fine, no? Right, the real trick here is I want to use Sewer Wolf and Fushren's ability to just break their butt. Fushren has her ult now, and because I'm that slow, Matrix Oppressions is just always here, you know what I mean? So I would say even without speech, she functions perfectly fine. I'm just gonna use freaking Blade. Who cares, dude? We are clearing this way too quickly, actually. Gosh dang. Right, we are gonna finally take a turn with Fushren here. We can use our um, ulti. I have one more turn of Matrix left. I need this to be up constantly. Or just shutting your eyes, dude. He's like, Oh god, I don't want to look at your ugly ass. Imagine being that ugly, frigid prowler that our favorite gremlin doesn't even want to look at you. Right, here comes the ult, like, for the first time ever. It should hit everyone. Doesn't do quite a bit, even though I have, like, 70 crit damage, which is not a lot now, is it? <laughs> and as you can see from the bottom left corner here, these two purple pimple thingy means that I have two stacks of heal for her, which I'm not even gonna use. Like, now I'll use freaking Matrix Oppressions, right? I've resetted it, so everyone is protected. I get a feeling that using Blade in this team is kind of pointless, because... I'm just not dying, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna try and hit this girl. And dude, Blade is actually getting very low. And I'm being hit. Well, kind of. Because I'm not even feeling it with Silver Wolf, dude. Right, here we go with a skill one. I'm leaving the Coco Lea cosplayer alone. She has seven of the hits. I want to take all seven of the hits and see if Blake can somehow survive this, you know what I mean? Let's start by entangling you. And here goes the... Yeah, there goes the... Oh, and I finally activated that, getting me almost a full HP, thanks to my Cloud set as well. Blade had no health left, and he did get hit, yet I'm totally fine. What? This is too busted, no? Gosh dang. And pair Quantum with Sewer Wolf? I can plan the Quantum 
over here and you're screwed. Boom, I'm break effects rule. You guys are dead. Why aren't you entangled? Ah, uh, whatever it is. Right, we are doing absolutely fine in terms of skill points. We're good doing well as well. Her basic skill is not doing that much that much though. That's to be expected. She is a preservation character. I don't know about a sub defense build, guys. Up until this point, I do not think it's, you know, wise to go for it. But just like that, dude, Fushra completely keeping my whole team safe and sound. Right, that was just, you know, a one-sided beatdown. So let's try not using Blade. We're gonna try something of extreme risk. We got our favorite gremlin, our favorite bratty sister, a dead person, and the Yanshing bully. One thing in common that everyone shares except Fushren and this team is they all die in two hits. Here goes the ultimate test for Fushren. We are using a bunch of crippled kids, and let's see if our favorite gremlin here can save them. I only barely three 3,000 health on Tig, which is not a lot at all. Let me get that benediction on. I'm gonna wait for Cyril to do her defense break, and look at that. My damage, you can see, it's taking quite a bit, even with Fushun on the field. If there was not Fushun on the field, I assure you, my Tingyun is in the red right now. Oh, so all good. We're gonna plant this weakness and all that, and now we have IL Dan H. He is also notoriously known to be absolutely, like, not tanky. And these little fishies can defense shred me as well. So we're really up against it. If Fushren can pull this off, I'll be really impressed. But let's get rid, or try to get rid, of this girl right here. We're doing quite a bit of damage, which is nice. Ah, dude. I wanna say I'm taking damage, but in reality, I'm not really, and I mean, I'm chilling. I still have the Matrix. You have to have this Matrix on or your team is probably dead, so... Thank god I still have it, so we are chilling. Even then though, Tingyun is up against it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just break this fish. Right, this goes. I am taking quite a bit. Look at look at Fushred. She's almost half health now. Same with Tingyun. Let's use our ult with the Bradley sister. This actually looks quite tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's let's keep that debuff going. Right, the fish comes over, and I should activate my heal with Fushred right here. This does not regenerate me any energy. And as you can see, Tingyun is almost dead. But we should have the ult heal with Fushred soon. Let me get that. Recharge for IL down here right here. Right, we're just gonna dunk it. We kinda need it right now. And we can definitely see if you're using soul sustained food shred, you have very little, you know, ways to heal. But here comes the ultimate challenge. We did get a huge heal from her Lyco. That is actually coming in pretty handy. I'm gonna try and beat this guy. Here comes all the hits. Can we survive them? We are doing absolutely fine. Look at that. I'm chilling, man. Right now, who do I go for first? I'm gonna go for the Kokolia wannabe first. And we have Dan Hang here. Let me just do that. Let's try and kill the Trotter. Use the MOC buff to our advantage. Get the damage in. And now we have Fush Shred again. This is a turn I have to use E, because if you use E with the Matrix still on, you gain 50 energy. But in my case, well, I'm kind of almost there anyway. I'm going to go ahead and use it though. Get the Matrix on, and we will go ahead and do our L. Let's look at the heal this time. It should be quite a good amount. And bang, look at that. It's okay. Is it Luocha heal? Heck no. But it's some heal, right? It's, it's better than nothing. Here comes the hit. I am dropping below 50. Fushun gets the heal to full health, baby. Okay, we are just doing so well right now. This is a team with no heal, mind you. The only heal is from Fushred, which in all honesty is not a lot. I'm gonna go for a basic here and let's try and see what happens if I send IL Dan Hank to kill himself. Let's hit the guy that's gonna counter me, dude. Can Fushun protect me from suicide? Let's find out. We have our ult and boom, look at how little damage that does. If you fought the elite before, you know if he counters you, that's not supposed to be all the damage there is. It usually goes a lot more than that. But anyways, let's go with Isle Dan Hank's ulti. I don't have skill points anymore because this team is kind of stupid in terms of skill point usage. I'm using way too much, but we are absolutely fine. I am getting I am getting a lot less health here. That's how usually this thing works. That means my heal on Fushin should be crippled, but still working, you know what I mean? And with this, with my break of Brad's sister dunking in the break, it is over. Ah, oh, come on! She erased her own quantum weakness for it. <laughs> for our health data to imaginary, dude. Right, I'm gonna not try and benediction up because I need the skill point. I'm not playing this absolutely perfectly, but here comes the whip. I'm below 50. I do not have a count anymore on Fu Shred. That is worrying. But I mean, she's still chilling. We, we have the, you know, Jappa going on, but the enemy is already dead at this point. And there you have it. That is MOC 10. This is just a quick sh little showcase, right? And honestly, my first impression of her is pretty good. She's cute. She's little. She's small. How tall are you compared to Bailu? She's like only a head taller and Bailu's a Lego. Is this build perfect for her? I don't think so. I'm gonna try sub defense build soon and I'm gonna try and actually do like speed um, boots and everything. 
soon as well. But I have, in some cases, utilized my ER. I've got like 50 of them. In some cases, they did. Oh, so hard. He's just polishing the balls. In terms of high health, you actually need to have quite a bit of defense. 1.5k, I would say, is enough. Paired with 9k health, allowed me to really just tank everything. In the last fight, mind you, I had Ting Yun, I had Sir Wolf, I had Dill. All of them does not contribute to survival. All of them is pretty much just a stab in the back for Fushren. They take so much damage, right? They have like pretty much no defense. So I would say Fushren is pretty darn great. If I had a Japart, I've already tested Japart before. In the same setup, Japart would never have kept everyone alive. So, so if I were to rank it, Fushren is actually better than keeping everyone alive as compared to Japart. But as compared to Luwoshi, I would say, there. I actually still think Luwoshi is better. His healing is just stupid, dude. But yes, guys, that is all for this video i'm gonna upload more soon it's gonna be about links it's gonna be about moto quantum for this one i just tried the double element plus double element one which you know what i i like it it's pretty good so if you are wishing for a solo sustain fushin can definitely do the job in my opinion but yes guys i wish you good luck in your fushin polls and take care